hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so this particular video is about the problem level order traversal in spiral form now guys the problem says that you are given a binary tree and the task is to find the spiral order traversal of the tree right so what actually spiral order traversal means so it's saying that starting from level 0 for root node for all the even levels we need to print the nodes value from right to left and for all the odd levels we need to print the nodes value from left to right okay so one example is given here for this example let me try to explain so first of all i'm going to write the levels i have level 0 first then level 1 then level 2 okay so it says that for every even level we need to print from right to left so this is an even level i'll print from right to left and again this is an even level i'll print from right to left and for every odd level i need to print from left to right right so this is how i can get the level order traversal now let me write the nodes that I visit starting from the uh, first node. So I have one first which is the root node. Then I have two, three from left to right. After this I have four, five, six, seven. This is uh, right to left order, right? So this is how I can get the spiral order traversal of the given binary tree. Now guys, I hope you have understood the problem statement. So let me talk about the solution. But before that guys, I want you to make sure that you watch this video till the end because uh, this problem is frequently asked by companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Flipkart, Walmart and many more companies. So this is an important problem. Okay, now the problem is easy as well. I have written one example and for this example, first of all, let me write the solution. Then only I'll talk about the intuition and the approach, right? So see, according to the problem, we need to print the spiral order traversal and for every even level, we need to move from right to left, right? And for every odd level, we need to move from left to right. So this is how I can get the spiral order traversal. Okay, so now let me write the notes that I'm visiting. So I have one first after this two three then seven six five four seven six five four after this i have eight then nine then ten eleven right this is the spiral order traversal along with this let me write the normal level order traversal as well so when we do a normal level order, order traversal then we visit every node from left to right order so i have first the level zero which is one after this level one two three then i have four five six seven after this i have 8 9 10 11 so guys can you figure out the difference here the difference is you can see here this is level 2 right and i'm printing the level 2 in reverse order in the spiral form so you can see that the only difference is we print every even level in a reverse order in a spiral form in a normal level order traversal we simply print the level right from left to right order okay so this is something that can give me the intuition intuition is whenever we have uh, like an even level so if my level mod 2 is equal to 0 in that case I can simply say that okay reverse that particular level from okay so reverse that particular level right or I'll say that reverse my answer reverse my answer from starting index to ending index right because I'll be storing the values in the answer array so this is my answer array and the moment I realize that this is an even level so I'll say that okay reverse from this index to this index so I'll say that reverse my answer from starting index to the ending index right now I hope you have understood the intuition so this is the basic idea behind the solution and we need to keep track of the level as well right so the idea is we will do a simple level order traversal after this we will keep track of count of level as well and then we will check this particular condition right now there are two things that i'm left with the first one is how to reverse an answer array or a list in a given range and the second thing is how to get the start and end index right so i'll talk about everything one by one so let me start with how to reverse a list in a given range so let's say i have this particular list which is arr so i want to I want to reverse this particular list from the starting index to the ending index right and this is index 2 and this is index 6 okay so what is the expected output here the expected output that I want is 7 first then 6 then 5 then 4 then 3 so I'll say that 7 6 5 4 3 right see here I want this 7 first then this 3 last so I can swap these two values right makes sense till now so I'll write simply 7 first then three here so this means i'm simply swapping these values right so i'll say that okay swap uh array of start and array of end array of end this is the first step after this 
I'll simply say that okay, I'm done with these two values. Then my start will point to this value, and my end will point to this value, right? So the moment my start and end moves, so I need to swap these two values again because I want six at the second place and the place of four, and I want four at the place of six. So it is like swapping. I'll write six first, then I'll write four here, right? And when I come to five, then this is a single element. I don't need to uh, do anything. I'll simply write five in the middle, right? So now you can see that I have got my reverse array. Rest all the element are going to remain same. The only reverse part is this one from start to end. So this is how we can get the reverse. See what we are doing. We are starting with start and end index. Then we are we keep moving the start and end index till we reach a condition where we are left with a single element. So I'll say that okay, I have to do start plus plus and end minus minus each time. This is going to move start and end index. And along with this, there's a loop. The how many times I have to do this? So I'll say that while my start is sim uh, like smaller than end, right? Because the moment my start becomes equal to end, so this is about the single element, and I can simply write a single element because the reverse of single element is the single element itself. I hope that makes sense to you. So now I hope you have understood how we reverse a list in a given range. The only thing that I'm left with is how we get this particular range, right? How we get this start index, the end index. So see here. Let me talk about this. Let's say I started the level order traversal from this node. So I'll start. I'll store one first, then. I'll come to this level. I'll store two and three. After this, I'll come to this level. I know this particular level is an even level, right? So I'll start storing values from this particular index. What is this index? This index is nothing but the size of this particular list, right? Because the size is three here, and this is index three. I hope that makes sense to you. Because this is always size minus one index, right? This is always we always say. Remember that we always say n minus one index, right? So if this is n minus one, this is index n. Quite simple. So I'll say that say that okay, my start is equal to answer dot size, right? This is my start. After this, what about the end? What about the end index? So we can get the end index because we know we need to store four values, right? Because these values are stored in the queue. So what is the size of queue? The size of queue is four. So this means that I am going to store four values in this particular answer array. So if this is answer dot size, so I can say that this is nothing but there are four values that need to be stored. So I'll, this is q dot size, right? So I'll simply say that okay, my end is equal to answer dot size plus q dot size, right? And see, this will give me the size, but I want the index. So index is always n minus one. So this is nothing but answer dot size plus q dot size minus one. So this way I can get my starting and end index, right? So once I have done this. My, all my task is done now. I just need to explain you the approach, right? Using the pseudo code. So see how we can solve uh, the problem. This is the pseudo code for a simple level order traversal. See, I have a queue here. Then I'm simply storing the root value in the queue. After this, I'm performing the level order traversal. So guys, this is how we get a single level at a time, right? In this particular loop, we are uh, like. Traversing a single level, which is the current level. So I need to keep track of level count as well. So initially, the level count is equal to zero, and each time when I traverse a level, then level count is going to increase. Level plus plus, right? But before that, I need to check one thing. If my level is an even level, if my level mod two is equal to zero, right? So if this is an even level, in that case, I know I have to reverse the answer and reverse the answer in a given range, which is from start to end. But hold on, what are the start and end, right? So I need to uh, like declare the start and end variable as well. So I'll say that okay, start is equal to answer dot size. I have already got this. And what about the end? So my end variable is equal to answer dot size plus this size, right? The size of Q size minus one. So this is how I can get my start and end. And once I have done this, my task is done, right? Now, if you guys are someone who know how level order traversal work, then this problem is solved for you. But some of you may ask that how actually level order traversal works. So guys, let me explain you quickly how actually level order traversal works. So we always use a queue data structure in order to level order traversal because level order traversal is nothing but BFS for a tree. And BFS is always implemented with a queue data structure, right? So I'll say that one, two, three, then four, five, six, seven. So I have a queue. I'll initially store one in the queue. After this, my queue is storing one, right? So what I'll do is I'll simply traverse this queue at a time. 
using this particular loop i know the size of this queue is equal to one so i have a loop which is going to run one time and while running the loop i'll get the uh, value in the answer so i will have one in the answer array and in this queue what i'll store is i'll store the left and right of the current uh, node so i'll say that okay now i have got two and three in the queue right and this value is removed the one is removed now because i'm dequeuing the value which means that remove the value okay so now i have value two and three in the queue so what i'll do is i'll traverse these two values at a time so i'll say that my size is equal to two now right so i have to run the loop two times i'll say that for the first time i have two so i'll simply say that okay what are the left and right of q first of all store two in the answer so i'll have two in the answer the left and right are four five right so this means that i have stored the four uh, like left and right of the current element so i'm done with this then i'll come to this element three right and see now our queue size has increased but still we are going to run two times because we have already calculated the queue size the queue size is two for us right so this loop is going to run two times in every condition doesn't matter how we increase the size of queue so now i have three then i'll simply remove this three i'll add three to the answer and then i'll add the left and right of three which is six and seven so now my queue is storing uh like what four five six seven right this is the next level that we need to traverse this is how we do a level order travels all right using the cube now let me show you the code quickly so this is the code on the left hand side i have written the c plus plus code then i have written the java code and python code as well right so you can see here that this is the reverse function right and the function is very similar in every possible language because all we need to do is we just need to uh, swap the values right this is how we can uh, like simply reverse values okay so now this particular code is for level order traversal we just need to modify some things like we need to keep track of levels then we need to get the start and end each time and along with this whenever the level is even so see here we are reversing the values right now this is how we can solve the problem so i hope you have understood the code now let me quickly talk about the time complexity and the space complexity see guys the time complexity is similar to an ordinary level order traversal which is o of n the only difference is we are traversing each level two times or we are traversing n by two levels two times by because if the level is even then we have to reverse this is again going to take o of n the reverse function right but still the complexity is o of n let me explain you how for an ordinary level order traversal i'll traverse level 0 first then level 1 then level 2 and the sum of nodes of every level is going to be equal to n in every case so i'll say that 0 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to n right this when i say 0 then i'm talking about the number of nodes in the level 0 the number of nodes in the level 1 right okay but what's special about this code is some level we are traversing uh two times so in worst case let's say we are traversing every level two times of course it's not possible but let's say we are traversing every level two times so in this this case as well i'll have two n number of nodes into zero plus two number of nodes into one plus two number of nodes into two right so i'll say that taking two common i'll get again zero plus one plus two right and this is going to give me two n right because this value is equal to n so two n is again similar to o of n right so this is why i can say that the complexity is not more than o of n and talking about the space complexity the space complexity is again since i am storing node values in the answer so the space complexity is again o of n right now this is all about this video guys thank you